Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese. Always got another gameplay slash tip video. I put out a gameplay in a while, so I just wanted to put something out. Have a little fun today. Uh, another Draft Champions game. I mean, this is something that I recorded this a while ago, and I wanted to put it out. I just haven't had the time. Uh, whenever I edit my my gameplay videos, they take a lot more time than the regular videos. As far as this gameplay goes, I use parts of this gameplay in a previous video about uh, some defenses that I'm going to show. So you know, you might recognize a couple of the plays. But either way, so like I said. I'm going to break them defenses down again in the video. So my opponent, he's got the Raiders. I, this guy here, I don't know much about him, but he's a very efficient player. Uh, and he gives me a pretty good game all the way to the end. Um, other than that, starting off, I mean, I, I wanted to come out in my 3-4 even. This is one of my more favorite base defenses. I trust his defense up to about a 3 wide receiver set. My opponent here is in a 4 wide receiver set, so i got to scratch that. I'm going to kick it up a notch. I'm going to go into my nickel packages. Anytime I see a 4 wide receiver set, you can pretty much guarantee they're going to be passing. One of my favorite defenses out of this definitely all year has been a 3-3-5 wide 9, and I'm going to go right back to it. This is one of my go-tos, especially when I don't, my, don't know when my opponent's going to run. So Mike Blitz 0, you know the play if you want to follow this channel. And he comes out in an empty backfield. This is usually an instant sack. All I have to do is QB contain, walk this guy right over the guard here. And this defensive end usually screams right off the side. But for whatever reason, <laughs> the tight end chips him and just totally jams him off of his momentum. You can see he would have came in, but that little bit of a chip just nope. messed everything up. And then sure enough, he had enough time uh, to get the pass off. But it doesn't matter because, like I said, that man defense is on point anyway. So next series, he goes from a four wide to a three tight end set. So I'm going to follow. I'm going to go right to my 4-4 split. This is one of my heavier defenses. I put this in a gameplay uh, you know, video not too long ago. I was talking about this exact same defense. Pretty much always use a cover 2 invert or the uh, the FS uh, blitz, and I'm going to do that again here. All I do to make this defense work is pinch the defensive line, spread the linebackers, and it should shut down most runs. It's also a pretty good pass defense, and he goes right into that by throwing to a drag. Gotcha, I guess the entire play design was basically double drags, and whenever you hard flat, that's what hard flatting was created for in Madden, was to take away some cheese from, I think, Madden 16, where people were running double drags, double drags, Drags, double drags and nothing covered it on the offensive side i got the jets playbook still continuing from my last gameplay their offense is a little questionable but they have a really good running formation as you can see right here i hit them with the toss to start the game you can usually tell right about here whether it's going to be a home run or it's going to get sniffed out uh, you're going to see in the future it's really boomer bust the toss is a good play you can see right there i got a really big carry but it can really be boomer bust the next play i mean i really run three different plays of this i run the fullback dive which is what i'm going to try to run here from the two yard line the toss play and the halfback counter now the toss i go right Right back to it. It was so successful the first time, I thought maybe it would again, but sure enough, it gets sniffed out. <laughs> Nope. And now I'm about eight yards back. So like I said, that play is really boom or bust. You can really get some big plays out of it or you can get sniffed out. If I had like pin and pool guru or something, it would be even more consistent, but it is what it is. So next series, going to the gun bunch TE. This is also a very unique series out of uh, this particular uh, you know playbook. I try to hit him. I switch it up. I see a little bit of a run lane. I try to hit it with an inside zone. Um, since I got him in a pretty favorable defense, I try to hit it again, uh, but I just don't have the acceleration this time. As you can see, my, uh, my running back just doesn't get up. I mean, I don't know if it's because I just sprinted them out in the first play but i get sniffed out right at the one yard line i'm gonna take the points because it's, it's it's early in the game you know what i mean it's not it's not that serious i have no idea my opponent might throw a pick six on the next play for all i know so up three first quarter still coming out in that uh, cover two invert once again it looked like it had him sniffed out but he just sidesteps that pressure just goes right around his guard who was getting blocked right into the running back so pretty heads up play right there uh, on the next play like i said i'm really trying to use the olb strike two a lot as one of my base defenses it's a really simple base defense it has good coverage pretty good against the runs you can see right here so on second one i get the third one then on fourth and one i'm almost guaranteed he's gonna run it Fight. catches me off guard hits me with a rpo and barely gets the first so first down and 10 I don't know if you didn't see me. I was right underneath that guy. We almost get a pick there. Next series, I guess he saw I was in a man coverage, a man zero. So I think he's trying. I mean, whenever I see his formation, I'm pretty much always knowing that this is what the play is going to be. So you can see right there, I cut it off perfectly. I give up a big play over the middle, but it's better than giving up a touchdown. So you got to be on the spot. You got to know where the weaknesses are of your defenses. And if you if you play with a defense long enough, you're going to know it based off the fact that people are going to beat you with it. You're going to remember that going forward. So that's exactly what I did there. On the next play, he just hits me with the uh, inside zone. Like I said, he, he runs a pretty methodical offense here uh i spent most of this first half on the defensive side of the ball very next play i tried to hit with an all-out man blitz <laughs> As I just whiff on that tackle anyway and he's gone he he takes it to the house from about 27 yards out that's terrible 
no big deal. It's early, um, but obviously, I mean, never would be behind on the board. So very next play, I just hit him with a random stretch. Doesn't work out at all. Uh, very next play, I love running this formation. It's in the uh, it's in the in the Jets playbook. Um, you can hit these type of plays all day. Hit him with a little juke, uh, but this is not the type of athlete to get that done. This is my uh, my tight end, uh, but I'll take it. So third and four. This is going to be a play. This is a play that I've been working on for a little while. It's in a lot of different playbooks, and it's. it's you know, pretty pretty successful here. I could have easily went downtown to the A route, uh, but the B route there was just a safe first down. So I'm just going to take that. Uh, but I remember that going forward because he didn't see that. This guy runs a lot of cover too. The very next play, I try to hit him with uh, with is essentially a cover three beater, uh, which is a mistake. I hit I take the underneath route. It has a good cover two concept on the outside, but ultimately I'm trying to set up that streak for a home run. But this play doesn't really do that very well. So it's like I'm really forcing it. So on the very next play, I run the exact same play i think that i can you know split those safeties but it doesn't work out as you can see right there it gets picked off so back on the defensive side like i said i'm going to spend a good portion of this first half uh trying to dig my way out of a hole on the defensive side uh we hit him with the cover one keeping contain i still mix that in quite a bit still a really good run defense but you can see right here if you catch if somebody catches you in a pass you know the man coverages don't really do a great job you don't really get a ton of pressure uh like you would an all-out man blitz but it is what it is so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna hit him with a cover three i don't know if he read this or what but he does a pretty unique uh you know he just basically puts that outside guy on a slant and i wouldn't expect that to be open but for whatever reason um it just jam it just gets off the jam and it's i don't even know what happened there it almost looks like i was pressing the cover three that was a very weird play but he's driving so next play like i said anytime you see this formation it can only be an inside zone i tried to take away the gap but i just got blown off by the center it is what it is next play tries it again i get a little bit of pressure outside which is kind of what this is defense is expected to do um so there it works out and then we get to a situation i mean this is where you know this is where you really make your money is if you can score inside the 20 and he does a pretty good job on the first play gets pretty close there's only about 40 seconds left i was all set to come out in a heavy formation but then i see he comes out on a four wide receiver set so i'm gonna hit him with the cross three fire this is a play that i've used quite a bit as a red zone defense if you're going to pass i'm going to basically just come out in this and zone all with the linebackers and give you nowhere to throw now I, he, a lot of people will see it they'll basically try to hit you with an inside zone or a halfback draw that's exactly what he does but it's you know within a certain range it's still going to stop it so right there i hold him at the two now i'm going to come out in my all out uh, you know run defense my cover two invert which like i said that's one of my favorites uh and i'm you know he he knows that he has a blocking disadvantage if he runs it this way so he's going to flip it so he's going to you know he's going to turn into a completely different play actually audibles to a different formation so he can run behind his tight end now he has a little bit more blocking in the direction that he's traveling but it won't work out anyway as you can see right nope. here we just come screaming off the edge so that's like i said that's one of my favorite run defenses very next play I come out in the 3-4 even uh, one more time because I think he's going to pass, and sure enough, he does. And it's basically just slants, but you can see I cut off just about every lane. He doesn't trust throwing it to anybody, and he essentially throws what probably should have been a pick. But EA, EA doesn't show me any love. They just get the slap. So it is what it is. So I'm down a touchdown, uh, second half. I just got to get a little offense going. First play to start off didn't work out too good. This play here, I mean, this is something that I, I swear B's wide open if I just, you know, didn't throw this ball well over where I was expecting. I mean, he really floated that. So little things like that are really starting to add up. My play calling is a little bit basic because I'm not as familiar with the Jets' offense as I am their defense. Uh, and then the next play just gets sad. God damn it! So I have to punt it away, uh, and he gets a pretty good return out of this. I mean, I'm punting from my own 14 because of the sacks, and uh, he gets a good enough return that he's taking it almost to midfield. So he's already up a touchdown, second half. Uh, things aren't going my way. He's not too far. He's about 20 yards away from making this a two-possession game. He's going to do a little ball control, dances a little too much as my defense takes away most of the lanes. Uh, and then on second and 10, like I said, I'm, I'm coming out, and man, he's reading it. I, I do a good job nope. of covering the lane, that I, the route that I have to, and he basically takes the check down and gets nothing and on the very next play he essentially punts it uh which you know the computer there uh he could the computer there picks it off they couldn't pick it off when it would have helped me they pick it off when it hurts me and loses me about 20 yards but hey i'm not complaining at least they did made the stop so first and 10 we're gonna you know play this as cautious as possible we don't have to start bombing it up if he's gonna give me run lanes i'm gonna take it so first two plays i audible to run plays i don't necessarily get the most but i'm you know i'm getting positive yards i'm getting the game back to midfield Next play, I'm going to take a wide open check down on a third and inches. I mean, I don't know how, you know, you wouldn't hard flat on a snare like that. It looks like he's playing a cover three based off of the opening. Uh, and then I get sacked once again. I mean, that's something. His defensive end is dominating my right tackle. I probably didn't draft one if I remember. And then on the next play, I just throw an interception. Damn it! 
<laughs> so it is what it is. Like I said, this offense not really doing its thing right now. But, you know, plenty of time left. My defense is carrying me. So we're back. I mean, he's coming out in what looks like run formations. I'm thinking that he might be trying to just solve the game away. And then he throws it up, and I get a perfect timing user pick to get the ball right back so basically we flip the field in a play and then i pick a play that i probably would never pick the middle hook this is something that i just i don't know i, I i'm thinking to myself he's running a lot of cover twos that y route's probably going to take um you know the safety out and they can probably hit the rb route which is the running back this is not a money play that i have created prior to this point i basically make this up on the fly break yourself fool one of my fastest players on the field is Tariq Cohen. So right there, I get a really big play. I try to hurry up, run again against his cover too, but he sees the motion. He audibles the play right away. So I go ahead and I make a little adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, tight end on a streak, make him chase the RB route, put him on a drag, you know, not, not let him know what, what's going on, but let him think that's where it's going. And sure enough, it works perfectly. You can see right there, freezes the user, and uh, I have nothing but a wide open touchdown. Break yourself, fool! So, really easy way to get back into the game. It was really just one play that changed it. And we're right back to where we need to be. So, he's got a ball. He's going to keep running some RPOs and some bubble screens as we're sniffing that out. Second and 11, like I said, all the momentum's on my side. I go and I run a cover four quarters, which is something that I pretty much never run. And this is why I just don't think it's a really predictable defense on my part. As you can see right there, I mean, they basically just let the, the center go on that play. All, all the coverage was to the outside. And you can see where that was a mistake. He calls a hurry up. I don't know why, uh, but it works. Like I said, the cover four works pretty good on the outside, just not so great on the inside. So we get to change it up. We go right back to the cover two. And uh, like I said, I mean, so how many times am my nope. team getting slap downs, knock downs, passes defensed, but they're just not getting picks. As you can see right here, back to back plays. I mean, they have no nope. interest in catching that ball. It is what it is. Tie game, fourth and nine from his own 35, and he's going to go for it, which is definitely not <laughs> something that I would do. I know he's reading my defense. He's been reading it all game. He knows I'm setting the house. He's constantly audibling. He's trying to find more blockers. I don't know, the tight end, the running back, all of it doesn't matter. This just comes right through and gets the sack. So back on offense, like I said, I'm just going to hit him with the counterplay. You know, this is a, a, a very simple run formation that I use right there. I mean, I even ran in my lineman, and, and it still worked out. Uh, then we go on the other side. I mean, we're just going to hit him with that toss again. I try to stretch it out. And then on the next play, I mean, I was trying to hit this cover too, but I just didn't trust that he got the separation that I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep it, take the sack. I don't want to throw an interception. I want to make sure that, you know, I give myself a chance here to, to either kill time and kick a field goal, or I want to score a touchdown to make this a game and then on the next play I squeeze it anyway as you can see I get it right down to the one yard line and then like I said once again I mean I don't for whatever reason I should have just stuck with the fullback dive this is the second time I talked myself out of the fullback dive although I come up with a pretty good substitution as I basically try to run the toss again but just flip it and the blocking just wasn't there and you know I guess there was two defenders the blocker picked the wrong one I don't know what he was doing there I could easily punch that in so we're not messing around anymore we're gonna go we're gonna go five wide empty backfield I'm really plotting on this RB route this kind of the point and you can see he's kind of there but that so is that defensive back and i don't just trust that some madden bs wouldn't happen where that guy would get in the way so i just take off and kirk coupons walks it in for the go-ahead touchdown so all my scoring coming in this late in the second half up a touchdown my opponent here he has not shown the same ability uh, to keep his cool as you can see right here he's gonna go ahead he's just gonna start no huddling i know he, i know he doesn't have a ton of time there's about a minute left so it's kind of understandable but he kind of made the same mistake earlier which gave me a really short short field and the opportunity to to take the go ahead you know i mean going for it from his own 30 is not a good call and he's kind of doing that same scatterbrain technique here so here nothing's really open he almost had this guy coming across but right as he did uh, my man just came in and finished off that sack. So perfect timing. Now we're going to go to second and 21. There's really two options here. You're either going to send the house or drop everybody back. More coverage or more pressure. I choose more coverage and I chose right because he's bombing it up into a crowd of four. Uh, and then on the very next play, I'm going to come out in that cover four one more time. So here we go with third and 21. He's kind of desperate. He had somebody underneath. Gotcha, bitch. But he tries to throw it up. And we're going to go to get that user lurk. So we're going to end the game on that. I mean, there wasn't much time anyway. He goes in, he calls it, quits with about 40 seconds seconds left uh, and that's the game so but and I'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below